Alright, I am uh, using my Steam controller with the Steam beta client on my Fedora desktop. Today is Steam Machine launch day. It's been a bit underwhelming as far as uh, as far as uh, you know, new releases are concerned. There's not been a lot of them. Uh, there's none of the big names that are sort of been in the Steam Machine sale earlier in the year have actually uh, come out on the day. This is perhaps not surprising. Uh, it's not. It's not really the Valve way, I shouldn't think. But um, there have been some new games, and they're in sale. They're not new games. They're not new games for uh, Windows users, but they're new games in general. Uh, so the one I bought today, well, I bought a few today, but uh, the one that's actually released today is Grow Home, and I'm going to give it a go now. So, yeah, there's a screenshot thing, Steam button and right trigger. I've never managed to make take a screenshot yet with my Steam controller, but there we go. Anyway, on with Grow Home. Um, let's just look at the controller config up. So, this is the standard scheme, I'm guessing, yes. Right trigger, right bumper. Okay. I do find with the Steam controller quite awkward to uh, press the A, B, you know, that, those four buttons. They just don't seem to be in a convenient place compared to what I'm used to, uh, you know, an Xbox controller. I have used it a bit to play some uh, Borderlands 2 and stuff, and to be honest, I am much worse at that with a controller than I am with a mouse, and I'm not that good with a mouse. I think it would take some practice. Although, I, you know, having played first person shooters with an actual console controller, I am so terrible. So terrible. I cannot, I cannot aim. I, I tend to just shoot straight and then move the character around until the bullets are hitting the guy because it's much easier than anything else. So anyway, here we go. So Grow Home. It's a Ubisoft game as you can see. Yeah, 360. Let's just check the settings. Let's crank that down a bit. Yeah, it's a Ubisoft game. It's well published by Ubisoft. Uh, they have they have uh, done some couple of uh, sort of indie games. That it's more a sort of you know people at the studio producing their own indie games and. Uh, and Ubisoft publishes them, then I think any sort of a plan to become a publisher of, well, I say indie games, obviously the publisher of use of indie style games, is that, if you see what I mean? Anyway, this, as I understand it, is a platform game, although I don't know that much about it other than everyone thinks it's awesome. So it's pretty cool that it's released for Linux. It's uh, clearly it's you know it's got an art style rather than rather than uh, realistic graphics. So there might be some pauses here as so I try and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Here comes Bud. I can't control him. Explore because there's some gross stuff up to 2,000 meters of the seeds. Okay. Thermal power low. So I'm guessing I need to find some power. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Jump with A.
Oh, it's been downloading games for me. Long Dark is another game. Oh, another game that's released, or the Linux version has come out of beta today. Climb with bumpers or triggers, right. Which I've also bought, so there. So, if anything, can be uh, said to be launch titles. Okay, I think I get it. Now, as I understand it, the uh, the robot's motion is procedurally generated, so it's sort of uh, sort of sort of a bit random. Ooh. Yeah. No, I can't do anything with the spiky thing. And there's a sort of there's a sort of uh, lag as you as you uh, control him. Interestingly, as I'm using the touchpad to scroll my view around, that's vibrating as I'm touching it, which isn't interesting. I don't know if that's intentional. Interesting haptic feedback effect. So let's see about climbing. Oh, I see. So you alternate the triggers and you climb up. Uh, and we have some strange lag. But look how high I am. Butterflies. Lag is possibly to do with how much of the scene is now in view because we're um oh, that's nice. Ooh, what's all that up there? Hey, look at that jumping and grabbing. What a potentially deploy and stay with Y. Okay. No, that didn't work. Oh, it did work. Okay, so if I jump off now, I can fly with a flower. Yes. Cool. I've got another question. So. Let me tell you what I think the object of the game is. The object of the game is to grow a plant seed back up to the sky, um, which involves platforming and climbing around. It does seem a little laggy. I wonder if that's actually to do with the, you know, why is it bothering to vibrate things for me? Uh, the game length is approximately five hours, according to. Uh, According to uh, Steam reports, hey, I'm losing petals. Ah, so I need to pick more of them. How oh, interesting! Handy point to point teleporter. Okay, I'm guessing since that's the first one, use left stick. I'm not very really sure how to do this. It's 
Next to teleport. Oh, there we go. X to teleport. There we go. I don't know where I teleported to. Is this back to the start? Yes. Okay, I see. So yeah, the Steam reviews say it's about five hours. Uh, it has very positive reviews at the moment. Uh, the Linux version does seem to be a little laggy to me. I don't know what the Windows version is like. But again, well, I'll say again. The game is in early access, I think. I'd have to confirm that. I'm fairly sure it is. So we could hope for some improvements there. Certainly. We can hope for some improvements with the, with the, uh, the Linux version. Just because it's their first attempt. Uh, yeah, I'm getting good at this climbing stuff. There we go. And get another one of them flowers. And did I get it again? Cool. It is uh, quite amusing. Oopsie. It is quite amusing how he moves. I quite like that. The visual style is... The visual style is quite nice. Oh, a bit more laggy. Sheep caused some issues. Uh, it is a little laggy, definitely. If someone has played the Windows version, they can probably tell me. Uh, oh, is that one of the ones I have to get? How do we get up to it? Oh no, it fell off. Don't let go of both hands, it doesn't work. Alright, I fell off again. Well, that's a challenge I'll look forward to uh, attempting in the future. For now, I think. Ooh, pumpkins. Pumpkins or possibly oranges. For now, I think I'll be uh, leaving the review here. I think you see sort of what the game's like. We've not got very far with it, obviously. I've just run around and done stuff. I've not, I've not dealt with the seed yet. There we go. Grab the crystal. Um, but it seems quite a distinctive, uh, quite a distinctive platform. Well, open, open platform game. I'm guessing it's you can basically go anywhere and do anything although there is a specific objective of growing the plant to uh, complete the game and yeah it seems quite neat uh, and you know for our Linux uh, for our steam machine hey the sheep's chasing the thing look The sheep has pushed the thing around. Is it eating it now? It might have been. It might have been eating it. I don't know. This is... It's, oh, it's eating that plant. Interesting. <laughs> it burps. <laughs> Love it. I wonder if you can do stuff with the sheep. Anyway, yes. Steam Machine launch titles. This, this is what we've got. Uh, not a AAA game, I'm sure, but it is quite neat. It seems quite fun. I will be playing this some more. Uh, for me, it's working fine with a Steam controller from Big Picture Mode. So, 
you know, check it out. Uh, there was a firmware update for the Steam Controller when I started up, so check you've got that before you uh, restart. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there. It's uh, Grow Home, a uh, released for Linux today.